The film presents two possible ways to perform a vertical evacuation of patients in the event of hospital fire. It is intended for employees of the University Clinical Center Ljubljana as an assistance at evacuation drills. Vertical evacuation is a procedure when patients are moved down the stairs to a lower floor or to a safe area or place in the building. Take the evacuation mat out of the storage bag. Unfold all sides of the evacuation mat. And unfasten the yellow waist belt. Place the patient in the middle of the mat according to the outline on the mat. The head should be approximately 20 centimeters from the edge of the mat. Run the yellow belt over the patient's torso through the loop and tighten firmly the patient's torso to the evacuation mat. Arrange the arms alongside the body and above the waist. Pull the sides together. Arrange the hands alongside the body, always under the sides of the mat. Attach the right side with the Velcro over the left side. Fix the sides as tight as possible. Close the sides as tight as possible at the feet area. Evacuate the patient by pulling the evacuation mat. Hold firmly the belt attached to the feet part of the mat. Stand upright and use your own weight when pulling. The patient can be evacuated by one or more persons. Assisting persons can use the pulling belt at the head for easier steering. Evacuation down the stairs should be performed by two people. You can easily turn a patient in a confined space by lifting the patient's legs. If you are on a higher floor, the evacuation will be performed down the stairs. Stand a few steps lower and pull the patient towards you with his or her feet forward. Make sure the other person holds securely the belts at the head. The assisting person is responsible for the necessary braking and cornering when bringing the patient down the stairs using the belt on the evacuation mat at the patient's head. Always have a firm grip on the railing and keep your foot in contact with the mat at all times. Maintain eye contact with the patient and descend the stairs gradually, step by step. Do not skip any steps. The patient may be evacuated by a single person. However, the rescuer should never overestimate his or her capabilities. Evacuation down the stairs is potentially dangerous. You need to be sure that you can control the weight of the patient along the entire length of the stairs. If you are not certain about your abilities, ask another person for help or leave the evacuation to others. Your own safety must always come first. Perform regular drills with the evacuation mat and always follow the instructions. Place the evacuation mat on the bed frame and carefully place the mattress on the mat. Attach the evacuation mat to the mattress with the elastic band. The mat is ready for use. If evacuation is required, pull the left side of the evacuation mat from the mattress and place it over the patient. Pull the right side from the mattress. Pull the sides together. Attach the right side to the left using the Velcro. Tightly fix the sides. Pull the underside from under the mattress and use it to tightly close the part at the feet. If the bed is adjustable, move it to the lowest possible position. 
Hold the strap firmly at the bottom of the evacuation mat and slowly turn the mat with the patient at the angle of approximately 80 degrees relative to the bed frame. Hold the mattress horizontally as you gently pull it out of bed. Lower the mattress slowly with the lowest part of the patient above the bed frame. Pull slowly until the patient is lying on his or her mattress. Evacuate the patient by pulling the evacuation mat. Stand upright and use your own weight when pulling. If you are on a higher floor, the only way to go is down the stairs as you will not be able to use any elevators during the evacuation. Position yourself a few steps lower and pull the patient towards you. When the patient crosses the staircase, carefully lower the mat down. Always have a firm grip on the railing and keep your foot in contact with the mat at all times. Maintain eye contact with the patient and descend the stairs gradually, step by step. Do not skip any steps. In case the staircase is wide, you can step to the side and put the patient down when his whole body is on the stairs and no longer on the floor. The patient lying on the mat will then slide down the stairs. Walk behind the patient, hold firmly the pulling belt, and transport the patient to safety. If the evacuation is performed by two persons, one of them may be responsible for the necessary braking and turning when sliding the patient down the stairs using the head belt of the evacuation pad. In addition to the evacuation mattress or mat, other equipment and accessories can be used to move patients, for example, portable pillows, evacuation chairs, carrying seats, blankets, etc. Vertical evacuation of patients may also be carried out with the evacuation elevators. The most important precondition for successful vertical evacuation of patients is the availability of suitable transport equipment presented in the following film.